You have to resist to not receive what you ask for. Ask and you shall receive describes the law of attraction in a nutshell. The moment you are clear about what you desire, it is on its way to you. The only way for you to not receive your heart's desire is for you to resist receiving it. This is a universal law. Just as the law of gravity must always pull toward the center, the law of attraction always works with such mathematical precision that it must deliver people, situations, and opportunities that mirror our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Doubt is the most common form of resistance. Often we spend time getting clear about the new car, new job, new house or new relationship that we want to enjoy. Then we begin to entertain thoughts that appear to justify our doubts. That costs way too much. I doubt I can afford it. No one has all the qualities that I'd like in a mate. I'm too picky. I doubt I can find someone who loves and accepts me. This company has never hired a woman for that job. I doubt they will they will chose me. I have discovered that the antidote to doubt does not necessarily believe that something will happen, but being open to the possibility that it could happen. Would you agree that if even one person has attained what you desire, then it could happen to you? It is possible. When I went to the bank to get approval for the mortgage for my harborside condo, I was aware of the reality that the bank usually requires evidence of three years earnings to qualify. I could only demonstrate three months earnings high enough to qualify for such a large mortgage. I could have focused on what I didn't have. I could have focused on what I had heard about bank loans. I could have said, I really want to live there, but I don't think the bank will approve me for the mortgage. I'm sure all my family and friends would have agreed with me and added their stories to reinforce my doubt. Although I did not know for certain that the bank manager would approve me based on those three months I believed that somehow he could and I kept my thoughts focused on that real possibility. It was interesting to watch the bank manager crunching numbers on his calculator processing the facts and his sense of what I was capable of. Perhaps it was with some trepidation that he expressed his belief in me when he finally looked up and said, if you can sell your present condo for this amount and purchase the Harborside condo for this amount, it's yours. Normally, I need to see three years of income to approve a mortgage of this size, but I'm the bank manager. What is it that you clearly want in your life? What dreams have you expressed in thought or words that you have resisted by entertaining doubt? What do you really want? If you are willing to remain open to even the possibility of receiving it, you will. Check out our other videos and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.